Hello everyone. So this is part two of the earlier video that we created where we started integrating SAM CI-CD pipeline for a SQS based Lambda. So in that video, we created an S3 bucket. We created a code commit repository and we created a cloud formation rule role as a prerequisite. And then we created a code pipeline. As part of that code pipeline, we created a code build project as well, which can only be triggered into via that code pipeline. So I'll first of all showcase the code pipeline that we created. So this is the pipeline. This is in currently failed state. I'll show you why. So this is the code. The, the first time when we pushed the code uh, when we in the last video, so it triggered this build because this was the pipeline was created before pushing that commit. So that's why this code commit built the code and then it went to the build stage. Now the deployment didn't run because our code build itself failed. So we will go to code build now. Now we will see the error. The error is uh, something related to SAM package command. It couldn't actually push the uh, document or the built file to our S3 bucket that we created. So now what we will do in this case is we will have to go to the build details and we'll have to go to the roles. Now this role is for the code build. Now there are two different services. One is code build, one is code pipeline. Now code build has to build the code as well. And at the same time, it has to push the artifacts to S3 as well. That is the role of code build. So for that, we need S3 access also. So we will add a policy here for now with this full access, but we will have to add a policy which is restrictive as well. And that is that should be the best practice. This for demo, we are showing the S3 full access policy. Now we will add it. Now, as you see, it is added now. Now we have to trigger this build again. Now we can't trigger it manually. As this is linked with this code pipeline, it can only be triggered in case of uh, in case of when you add or commit a code. Now we will go to AWS Cloud Formation screen also. In the AWS Cloud Formation screen, we are expecting a stack also to be created after the build succeeds. Currently, it has these existing stacks, but we will it will create a new stack that we added a name here. So we will show you the name. So this is the demo SAP app stack which will be created after the build or deployment step succeeds. Now we will change something in our code and we will make a commit. So we just triggered this build. So we will do git status, git add all, then we will do git commit. Then we will say dummy changes. Then we will say it push. So it will push our changes to this one. Okay, so now the changes are pushed. So now we can wait for a few seconds and then we will see this pipeline getting in the running state. As you can see, the source is in progress. Okay, so now this code build is also in progress. Sorry for the background noise. Now the logs will be coming here in few seconds or in a minute where you can see what all things are happening inside our code build section. Let's wait for a few more seconds. So there are different tabs also in the screen like phase details. Phase details will show you what all phases code build here it's going through. First of all, it submitted, then it got queued. Then it is getting provision. Now it is in downloading source code, then reports and environment variables. As we had this environment variable, which is nothing but our S3 bucket to deploy our code. Now the logs are coming up. So it is executing the build phase and different phases that we had entered into the build spec YAML file. Then it is build is succeeded. 
then the pre build is fine now it is going to the sam build so it is doing the build over code so it has built now this is the command which last time failed so we will see if it passes now so looks like it's passing so it's uploading artifact state so upload artifact is it means it has uploaded to s3 now we will see in cloud formation stack if it is trying to create something or we will go back to our pipeline it's in progress state code commit is success build is success cloud formation is in progress let's see if it is working as you see the first one the demo sam app it is in progress let's wait keep our fingers crossed to make it run and successfully now you can see all those events as well which is nothing but saying what all things it's creating it's creating this local lambda it is creating logger rule then it is creating a simple sqs or something so all these things it's creating now there is some error we need to see that error what is the error now it says your access has been denied by this one make sure your object have permission to get object for demo artifact bucket access denied so this is the error right now which we are getting in terms of your lambda so now we have to go to cloud formation role once and see our role if it was properly configured or not we will go to cloud formation demo cloud formation role this is our uh, now which all policies we added we added sqs full access we added iam full access we added cloud formation then we added this lambda full access now the cloud formation's role is to deploy your sqs deploy your lambda deploy your whatever resources it needs for your sam application now in case of lambda it has to go to s3 bucket where the code is or artifacts are deployed to fetch it from that bucket and deploy onto the lambda so that's where it has to go now we will go back to our uh, role here so we will add a policy here which is nothing but the s3 full access which will allow this cloud formation role to talk to s3 now we will push another commit now it is pushing our code so we will go here so it is in succeeded state it is waiting for that commit to read so it will be read in few seconds it is pushed we will refresh this page once now it is built now it is in the building phase we will give it few seconds in the meantime you can review all these things which i created i created cloud formation role as first which is having all these policies it has xqs it has iam it has s3 full access for lambda which is needing that repository then cloud formation then lambda full access so all these roles are part of the policies are part of this role then we created bucket in the start and before that we created i think it will fail again yeah now i'll show you why mm. it should show fail to create up to yeah so let us go back to the screen again we will see the latest information if we get something okay it's in still in progress yeah it hasn't failed yet but it will fail i think so let's wait for the code build to complete So it is doing the npm install. So the prerequisites before coming to the code pipeline is 
complete those prerequisites carefully. Now, as we are dealing with SQS and Lambda based example, we need to first create a cloud formation rule, which has all three, all these five policies. And then this S3 bucket should be created in the same region where you are deploying your application. And then a code commit repo also should be created. After that, on doing all these things, we should come to code pipeline and create the required uh, pipeline steps and all that. Now this is done. Now we will go back to our pipeline. Now it should fail because we have stack exists with non-updatable rollback. So as we had this uh, stack already created, so that's why it is saying that it is non-updatable. So we will have to create a new stack or we will have to edit this as our build failed. So that's why we have to do this step. But ideally that's not required in most of the time. So we will give another name here. So we will give this one. Then we say done. Then we say save it. Now we will go ahead and make a small commit again. This one we'll do this one. Okay. So now we will switch back to the code pipeline screen. Let's wait for a few seconds. Well, yeah, it's in build stage. Let's wait for it getting built. Let's wait for a few seconds until its logs are getting printed. We can go for entire logs also or we can use the tail logging to see the logs getting appended. In parallel, logs can be watched in the CloudWatch as well. The way it is loading, you can watch it here as well rather than watching it here. So in the CloudWatch, it will append the logs in the specific log group that this code build project has. Okay, it's taking a lot of time. Yeah, so now the logs are coming. It's here also now. Now it is getting SAM build. It is going to the SAM build command, not went yet. Now it is doing that. So now it is doing the building part and all. Now it's doing the packaging command. Now the artifacts are deployed. Now we will come here to see if our new stack that we gave it to create, is it creating or not? So it's creating, let's wait and hopefully it should create it this time around. So it's creating all these things, all these things are in resource creation in progress. So it should be available in some time. Let's wait for a few more seconds. Sometimes it takes a lot of time, but sometimes it gets created readily based on the usage that we have. 
somewhere it's saying creation complete let's hopefully it should complete for the entire stack also soon once it's complete it will show create complete here other than create in progress still in creation progress and you can view the resources also which it is creating over here so it has created the queue it has created the logger lambda we can click on the lambda and we can click on this log as well so it is creation complete so we can go to this lambda this is the queue name where we can go and check it so yeah that's all I wanted to showcase in terms of how you can create your pipeline. Now you can go to the pipeline section also. And you can see all these steps are green. Now after that, you can add multiple stages also if you want to add, let's say, deploy to QA environment or whatever. So then you can do that stuff as well. Okay, I think that's all from my end for now. Anything for further we want to discuss, you can drop in the comment. And we will bring another video for you for, uh, for an architecture discussion or a system design in the next video. So till then, keep watching digital system design. Keep getting upgraded. Like and share if you like the video or if you like the content. And subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.